ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the chairman of the executive board of Porsche AG, Oliver Blum. What a fantastic moment and what an incredible place to present this car. Good evening and a warm welcome to all of you. It's wonderful to be here in, in Singapore, in the famous gardens by the bay. We are gathered in a place where dreams come true, in a spot where nature and technology allow us to experience unique moments. Take a look at these artificial super trees. They convert sunlight into energy with photovoltaic cells and make this place glow at night. Singapore is an innovation hub. It's a green megacity and it's opening the door to the future. A future with a new star, the new all-electric Macan. We are showing this car during Singapore Art Week with the impressive artwork of Mark Forness. The car and the sculpture have two things in common. They combine state-of-the-art technology with innovative design and the pursuit of perfection. That's the true art of engineering. We are making history once again with the launch of our second all-electric model following the Taycan. The Macan has been on an outstanding journey since 2013, with more than 800,000 customers worldwide. Today, our bestseller is going electric. Porsche is taking the Macan to a new level in three ways. First, e-performance, second, Porsche driver experience, and third, expressive design. The all-electric Macan sets new standards for e-performance, a benchmark in the SUV segment. The perfect car for a new age of mobility. A car that exceeds expectations. Its capabilities are unique in its class. With high-performance fast charging, with up to 270 kilowatts, and a range up to 613 kilometers. At the beginning, the Macan will be available in two versions, Macan 4 and the top-of-the-range Macan Turbo, with acceleration from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in only 3.3 seconds and a top speed of 260 kilometers per hour, an exceptional car that performs on any surface. Now, let's talk about the Porsche driver experience. The new Macan is full of innovations, a technology carrier. The new generation of the infotainment system enables high-performance connectivity with an augmented reality head-up display, with a Porsche app center for downloading third-party apps, with super-fast route planning and exceptional charging management. This transformation takes us to a new level. I've read something interesting about the new Macan. Let me briefly quote from it. It's a car that performs like a Porsche, but behaves like a smartphone. It's about performance on the road and performance in the digital world. Moreover, Porsche offers countless options. Customers can create their own Macan in terms of colors, exclusive features, and sustainable materials in selected components, and all in highest quality. Porsche is attracting new target groups. Our Porsche family is getting younger and more female, especially here in Asia. The new Macan is cool, digital, and ready for exciting new experiences. That's why we are here today in the gardens by the bay. The Macan is a true sports car. It demonstrates our ambitious goals for the ramp up of electromobility. Our journey started with a Taycan. Up to now, we have delivered almost 140,000 units and over 40,000 in 2023. Electromobility and Porsche is a perfect fit with a consistent product strategy. The new Taycan will come very soon, followed by the 718 and the all-electric Cayenne, and many more to come. 
Porsche has a global presence. Europe, the United States and China. And strong growth in the overseas markets, like Southeast Asia. Last year, these markets accounted for more than 16% of our total sales. Southeast Asia is a future powerhouse for Porsche. This is why Singapore is a perfect stage for our new Macan. The world is changing. Today, we are in a place where change can be seen in every direction. Green skyscrapers, a jungle in the middle of the city, renewable energy. Singapore is transforming into a green megacity, a role model for successful transformation. And now it's time to take a look closer. Watch out for our three game changers. E-performance, the Porsche driver experience and expressive design. Thank you very much. Oliver, fantastic, and I can't wait to get even closer to this expressive design. Thank you so much for explaining Thank all of much. that. We will let Oliver take his leave of the stage as we now take a closer look at that expressive design. Michael, welcome back. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give him a round of applause as he takes us through the ins and the outs. And I think the first thing I want to know is, I think it's beautiful, you all agree? Yeah. Stunning. Thank you. But I want to know, as the designer, which is your favorite part, Michael? You know, it's always hard to ask a designer what is the favorite part. There are some favorite parts, but I would like to refer uh, briefly to the front because that was, I think, the most challenging part of the car. Why? You know, the very successful current Macan has a very strong product identity, a very strong Macan identity. So, and then you could say to work on the next generation is in a way business as usual. So you have to have this close connection between the predecessor and then uh, the, the, the follower. But in that case as well, combined with this change of technology. So we wanted as well that we are visualizing that this is an EV. And therefore you could say we in a way borrowed the headlamps of the Taycan very flat, very low, very slim with these uh, four elements and try to close the front much more. So I would really say that was uh, the toughest part. Okay, so subtle, distinctive, something that if you saw it in your rear view mirror, you would still pay attention. So some of the other design elements then, yeah. talk us through some of the other parts. For example, in the interior, I mean, uh, no combustion engine, no ref counter. So the, the display, the instrument, curved, uh, and free-floating, one of my highlights in the interior. Or if we have a uh, brief look at this car over there as well, the colors. So we try to as well to introduce new colors that are light uh, and uh, yeah, complementing, let's say, this new technology. And it does look stunning. From the rear here, this is also a very distinctive look and feel. Yeah, I mean, for us in Porsche, the proportions are very important. So again, today's Macan already has great proportions. Um, and looking at the car, especially from the back, I mean, this uh, width uh, to height ratio, so the stance of the car, uh, something I think we even uh, improved. And uh, again, underlines that this is the sports car in the segment. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about those design principles that we've touched on. I mean, obviously, a few of the key things that we're noting is the tension that we notice on each of these curves, right? But some of the trends when you talk about automobiles, they come and go, some work really well and some kind of don't, right? But Porsche has managed to hold on to that essence and yeah. it's always been very notable, but obviously yeah. there is change involved. So how do you maintain that? Yeah. I mean, uh, as a designer and as a brand, as a company, you should never be so arrogant not to listen to customers, not to look closer at the competition, what's happening. But again, I think in the end, you have to keep, you're saying, the essence, the brand identity. And therefore, we have a very clear design strategy. We were um, briefly talking about these keywords that always help us whenever we have to take a decision, if we go more to the left or to the right, um, besides these trends to take, let's say, the right decision for the Porsche brand to keep this strong brand identity and product identity of the Macan. So obviously then when you had to create an all-electric Macan, 
right? You were projecting into the future. How do you do that whilst retaining that brand essence? Yeah, I mean, uh, we have, uh, let's say, this kind of internal system. It's so secret that I can't talk about it. <laughs> But no, you're going to share something, right? <laughs> it's basically we always uh, have this uh, idea, this picture in our mind that we throw a stone pretty far into the future, very much into the future, knowing that a lot of ideas we are creating in this process are not realistic at that point in time, today. That's what we call forecasting. And from there we go step by step back. We call it backcasting. And therefore then we believe that we found a pretty good way Again, as I said, to keep uh, the, the, the thread between uh, the history, the heritage, and find the right amount of innovation. And with that, we now have this brand new all-electric Macan. It is stunning. It is absolutely amazing. I'm sure each and every single one of you wants to get even closer to it. Michael, thank you so much for thank giving you. us the ins and the outs of all the design facets. Thank I'll you. let you pop off to the side there for a moment. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been an electrifying evening and we officially present to you the new all-electric Macan. And now, to round us out officially for the evening, I would like to welcome back to the stage. So ladies and gentlemen, a warm round of applause, please, as we welcome back for the final photo call with the car, Mr. Oliver Blumer. We will have Michael as well, once he's done. And we'll also have Mark Fornes joining us to the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give them a round of applause as they come for that final photo call for the evening. Yep, can you hear me? Wow, what a fantastic car, Kylie. I mean, tell us your first impressions of the all-electric Macan. Oh, I think this car will definitely stand out on the road because of its color and the shape. Well, I tell you what, if there's one color that I could have of the car, it'd be yellow, but I haven't quite got there <laughs> yet. Well, for me, really, it's about the combination of sportiness and being able to put uh, family inside the car. You know, I spend a lot of time inside the car. I'm at events, I'm at shows, I'm at work, I'm with kids. You know, so for me, it's got to be able to combine now all of that. Now, when it comes to design, because you work in the world of art, what is that focus, that highlight for you, Kylie? Oh, I think McKen is McKen, but completely new. Uh, what impressed me is that powerful front end, also huge wheels and the super nice body interior. I love it. Well, you know, for me, sportiness of the car, the driving dynamics, because I spend so much time in the car, it's about having that fun. And fun for me, really, at the end of the day, maybe it's that ex-race driver, little issues that I still have, but when I'm at that red light and it turns green, I still like to have a little kick when I'm moving off that, uh, that line. But that's for me, sportiness. Well, Kylie, thank you so much. Now, I think we're pretty much on the same page when it comes to all the appearances and uh, having the dynamics of the car. Now, we have heard some of the technical details from Oliver Blume, but let's take another look into some of the details as well as the technical specifications of the all-new Macan. The new Macan is the highest performing model in its segment, offering e-performance typical to Porsche. The turbo achieves up to 470 kilowatts and 1130 newton meters off torque. It accelerates from 0 to 100 in 3.3 seconds and has a top speed of 260 kilometers per hour. The turbo has a range of up to 591 kilometers, with the range of the Macan 4 going up to 613 kilometers. A high voltage battery with an energy content of 100 kilowatts per hour, 95% of which we can use. We can charge with up to 270 kilowatts at an 800 volt fast charging station. This allows us to charge the battery from 10 to 80% in around 21 minutes. There's enough space in the front luggage compartment for the charging equipment or a travel bag. Inside, there's room for the whole family and the luggage plus a towing capacity of up to two tons. First time, we are offering a head-up display with augmented reality. The new generation of the infotainment system enables powerful connectivity functions. 
apps from third-party providers can now also be downloaded via our app center. It was important to us to have a low seat position and a good view of the 12.6 inch curved display. With its Porsche Active Aerodynamics, the new Macan is one of the most streamlined SUVs. We have fully variable cooling air flaps, a completely closed underbody, flow-optimized wheel designs, and an adaptive rear spoiler. This enables us to achieve our top drag coefficient of 0.25. The all-electric version is a performance-oriented SUV with great everyday usability, high-quality equipment, and plenty of space. 